Hello, I'm Rohini Krishnamurthy. I'm a senior reporter at Down to Earth. Today, I will be speaking about the breaching of the 2 degree Celsius mark. On November 17, 2023, the world breached 2 degrees Celsius of warming, a number we are constantly warned of not crossing. This new data was part of a preliminary analysis from the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecast. The global temperature for November 17 was 1.17 degrees Celsius above the 1991-2020 average, according to Samantha Burgess, Deputy Director of Copernicus Climate Change Service at Copernicus at ECMWF. So why is this happening? According to experts, the short-term breach of the 2 degree Celsius mark is associated with the climate phenomenon El Niño and long-term human-caused climate forcing. Scientists have also warned that El Niño, a warm phase of a recurring climate pattern, has gained strength. These conditions started emerging in the spring of 2023 and developed rapidly during summer, reaching a moderate level by September 2023, according to the World Meteorological Organization. The year 2023 has broken several records when it comes to extreme heat. The 2023 State of Climate report highlighted that the world has already witnessed 38 days with global average temperatures above 1.5 degrees Celsius mark by 12 September, more than any other year. Also, June through August of this year was the warmest period ever recorded. And there's more. Global and North Atlantic sea surface temperatures both broke records. The Amazon was in the grips of a record-breaking drought, with water levels of the river Negro, the largest tributary of the Amazon River, reaching their lowest level in 120 years, affecting navigation on the river, Amazon, and the electricity supply to local towns and villages. The last 12 months have been the warmest in the last 1,25,000 years, with temperatures reaching 1.3 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. This was another year passing by with empty promises of controlling climate change. The scientific community is bracing for a potentially worse 2024. And sadly, it's the vulnerable communities that are going to be on the front line in facing the impact of the worst case of human negligence. To know more about the latest news on science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.